Coming up, an easy way to see how hard your Mac is working. It's time for Hands on Mac. Hands on Mac comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Mac is brought to you by LastPass. Start solidifying your cybersecurity strategy with the award-winning LastPass today. Go to lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. Hey, everybody. Leo Laporte here. A happy Friday to you. We're getting ready for the holidays. I hope you're having a good time, and I'm glad you joined me for Hands on Mac. I promised this a couple of weeks ago, a good way to see how hard your Mac is working. And this, by the way, works on, in, we're going to have to start saying this now, on Intel Macs and the M1-based Macs. It comes from a company called Bajango, Bajango Software. It's iStat menus and i install this on every single mac i'm running in fact i have a family plan uh if you want to buy it it's not expensive you can get a single license uh for uh, uh three dollars and 99 cents you can get a family pack which allows you to install it on i think five or uh, five other macs five total macs for seven dollars uh i bought the family pack because I absolutely want to support Bajango, but also because this is a great tool to have on your uh, Macintosh computer. You want them on all of the Macintoshes. Uh, it sits in the menus, uh, as the name would indicate, iStat menus, and it gives you information on everything going on inside your Macintosh. This is the preference pane, and I'm running the two-week trial here. So everything's available in the trial. There's one thing uh, a little bit different on this. You can get weather. Uh, in order to use weather, and if you like weather in your menu bar, and it's a pretty good weather app, uh, you get six months free with your purchase, but then you have to subscribe for a few bucks a year to get the uh, menu data. I think that just pays for um, menu uh, access or uh, weather access for uh, Bajango. You can, uh, if I look closely, you can see you can turn on CPU and GPU information, memory, disk usage, network usage, temperature sensors. Uh, battery and power. Let's turn that on. Let's. Well, we don't need that. This is a desktop, but if you were a laptop, you'd really want to have that turned on. In fact, I use the battery and power information from my stat menu in lieu of the menu information Apple provide or the battery information Apple provides. It's just so much more uh, granular, such so much more useful. You also can have time, and if you if you like a lot of control over your clocks. Having a time in the iStat menus is actually even better than doing it on the Macintosh. You can have it all combined as a single menu item, or you can turn them on one at a time. I'm going to turn them all on except for a battery because it doesn't make any sense and give you a quick tour of the kind of information you're going to get. This iMac, this is the 5K iMac, has a lot of sensors built in for uh, temperature. So if I click the sensor menu, you'll see all of the sensors. This is great. And it shows you a graph, too, over time. You can make it be for the last hour, the last 24 hours, seven days, or 30 days. That's true for all of these menus. So this is a... Re I just put this on here uh, recently, so it doesn't have a lot of historic information. But look at all of this. You know, funny thing, and I don't know if this is... Um, an incompatibility or having something to do with the way Apple's doing the M1 MacBook. But when I click the sensors on the M1 MacBook, there's only one, the temperature sensor on the SSD. I'd like to see more. I imagine there are more. Maybe that's just an update that has to come to iStat menus. You can also take a look at your network, uh, how much data is going in and out, what the peak speeds are. And again, you can get that data over time which is really great. You can see uh, what's using the most data. It goes by process here. So if it makes sense, Firefox and SyncThing are using a lot of data because they're both getting online. This is a nice feature of all the menus. It gives you uh, in this uh, little icon field at the bottom access to many of the things that you'll want to use in conjunction with iStat menu. 
including Apple's own activity monitor, the terminal. Um, you also have, uh, I don't know, what is that? Network utility, which has been deprecated in Big Sur, so I guess we won't be using that anymore. Um, I guess that's a that's the network control panel. That makes sense, access to the control panel. And then what is this? Oh, this is the preferences in general. It's funny. <laughs> Those icons don't have uh, tooltips on them. This is how important tooltips are, so I can't hover over them. Let's go on and look at uh, the uh, SSD information. This shows you how hard your disks are working, how much data is being written into, and how much data is being sucked up. It even gets the smart status, as useless as that is. Gives you some commands too, including uh, an eject command, a force eject, reveal and fire and hide this disk. So this is a really useful SSD tool. But mostly I use iStat menus for memory and CPU information. Especially on the newer uh, M1 Mac, where I'm really curious how that 16 gigs is holding up. That's very useful. Now this is this uh, 5K iMac has uh, a lot of memory. Um, I think maybe it's only got 16 gigs, but you can see here how much pressure is a, a, a term Apple uses to describe how hard the memory is working. The higher the percentage, the more memory you'll use and need. Here's how much memory is used by the apps. Wired memory is memory that uh, is used by the operating system and cannot be released. This is, you know, Big Sur running and it's always going to need this much memory. Compressed is memory that was used by apps is still in RAM, but it's been compressed uh, so that it doesn't take up as much space. And then uh, cached is data that's cached, stored in RAM, possibly not being used, but it's there uh, until you need the space. Um, so it looks like this is a 32 gig machine. Um, wired, 2.19 gigs. That's the, that's again, the, that's the system. This is the actual memory being used by applications that are running right now, 13 gigs. This is useful if you're, if you're trying to figure out how much memory do I need in my next system. Running this on your old system will give you a good idea uh, of what you're using, what takes a lot of memory, uh, and whether 16, 32, or more is uh, necessary. Then to CPUs, there's no GPU on this machine, but if you had a GPU, there would also be a GPU entry. We can see... The processors, how hard they're working, how many processors there are, the average load, how much is dedicated to system processes, uh, how much is dedicated to uh, user processes. This is, you know, stuff you're not going to use all the time, but it sure is nice to know. The sync thing is running hard right now. It's using 82%. Note this adds up to more than 100% because I have multiple cores on here. I have a four-core system. So I guess technically we could get to 400% if all four of them were maxed out. So, uh, oh, I guess I do have a graphics card in here. There it is, the Radeon R9. You can see how much it's using. The load average, the total uptime. This is really a very handy tool. If you want to know what's going on inside your Mac while it's working, and if particularly if you're having issues and you want to know what's you know, what's causing the problems. I mentioned, uh, was it last week or the week before, Activity Monitor. That's a good start, but this is even more granular, more gritty. I really like it. I even pay for the uh, weather because I like to know what the weather's like. That's iStat Menus. It's from Bajango Software. Uh, downloaded from the Bajango website. It is highly recommended. I put it on every single Mac I've got. Uh, next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about the M1, and I'm going to read you a passage from one of my favorite books uh, by Neil Stevenson. Um, but thank you, and have a wonderful week. Our show today brought to you by LastPass. IT leaders, right now, you need to invest in upgrading or adding security technologies to make your business safer during this remote work time. Wouldn't hurt to be more productive either. LastPass is a great way to do both. IT and security leaders have the control they need from a central dashboard. They have access to security scores and dark web monitoring to see real-time readouts of your business's password hygiene and to provide alerts to employees when credentials are at risk. That's a nice feature. For every employee, you can view their password score, monitor group memberships, and more. Go to lastpass.com twit 
to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. We're getting closer to the holidays. Next week, a little buying guide. <laughs> just, just get yourself an M1 Mac. No, no. <laughs> we'll have more coming up next week on Hands on Mac. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, host at Twit TV. Got a question for you. Have you gotten tired of how bad your photos are looking every time you post them to Instagram? Better yet, have you gotten yourself a new camera and you can't quite figure out why the images just don't look that good? Well, I have a solution for you. This is my show, Hands On Photography. Each and every Thursday, I sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. So subscribe today at twit.tv hop to learn more.